What is happening guys? It is me again, Honest Dave, coming to you today with a little review. Now, earlier today, Jeff from Cutlery Lover uploaded a video on the new Ozark Trails $3.87 pocket knives. And he was asking for people, if you found one in your Walmart, to respond to his you know, video, say, hey, I found it here, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, the one Walmart in my town, we've had them for about a month or so now. In fact, I actually, we actually bought Corinne one of hers, this exact knife too. And there's a lot of different versions, you know, there's the metal handle ones, there's the black ones, the silver ones, uh, the lockback ones, the multi-tool, yada, 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 you know, whatever. And a lot of people, I know they're going to pass by these things. Oh, that's not up to my standards of the knife snob. Okay, shut the fuck up, dude. Okay, it's four bucks. You know, it's going to be worth four dollars. So I figured, though, what the hell, I'm going to go pick one up and show it to you guys. You know, say things I like about it, things I don't like about it, and maybe change a few things. So, here we go. The Ozark Trail. Uh, let's see, how much was this? $3.87 pocket knife. As you can see, this is the one that Jeff got, which this is actually my favorite one that they made. Got a flipper, of course. I'm going to still need to break in a little more. It's also got thumb studs. Works a lot better. It's a lighter lock. Has these blue G10 handles, which is weird that they're G10. I mean, here on the, here in the box say fiberglass handle. Which is basically G10. And one thing I don't like, they say a 3.5 inch Tonto blade. I ain't no 3.5. Okay, I don't. Actually, it might be. I got a rule right here. Uh... Yeah, it's under 3 inches. Okay. So don't go saying it's 3.5, but you know, whatever. It's always a trail. I think every pack knife I saw had that on there. But you know, whatever, like I said. It's got a pocket clip. And on the back, all it says is this is a Walmart exclusive by the looks of it. Made in China, of course. And warning cut, cut hazard, sharp blades, improper use, chiseling, ice picking, prying, applying force onto the back of a blade or contact may result in injury. Always keep blades away from fingers and body. Do not use if damaged or blade is loose or apply force onto the back of blades. Handle with care. If not in use, store in its sheath or safe place. Keep out of reach of children. Sheath? Hello? There's no sheath on here. I think I know what happened here. This is just the box from one of their other knives. Because there's plenty of knives. The only knife I saw that would have a sheath on it was a was a lockback. Whatever. But while I hate that, they actually do say some smart stuff on here. <clears throat> and this one is for all those idiots who like to do spine whack tests, because ooh, I'm a fucking moron. Do not apply force onto the back of blades. Yeah, you're never you know you should never apply force back there, okay? Because with knives, you shouldn't be, you know, cutting like this. You cut like this. And if you do it that way, the blade will, you know, push back onto the pin. But if you're some reason, you know, tr trying to cut this way, and it fails, that's your own fucking fault. But I'm not going to get into a tirade. Just saying, though. But yeah, with all the, you know, false information on the box, it's still a nice knife. It's got a titanium coated blade. Has a flipper and thumb stud, like I said. The blue G10 handles, which I like. It's got this little pommel like area, which, well, it's a little short, but doesn't really bother me. It's actually multi layered handles. And it, you know, Teflon washers, huh? which isn't bad because you don't hear any scratching in there. So that's pretty smooth. 
Now let's see what else we got. We got honestly some worthless jimping right there because hello. Tip down right hand carry only pocket clip. Kind of flimsy. And this is one thing Jeff talked about he doesn't like is the Tonto and Serrated combination blade which as you can probably guess for me loving Tontos I mean just look at my last video I don't really mind and also I don't really mind serrations on Tontos but you know hey to each his own so yeah this ain't gonna be a full review I'm not gonna tell you how it carries or oh how useful it is blah 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 because I haven't had it long okay Let's see, blade centering, it's not centered, but $4 knife. I'm going to show you how it goes, my, how it holds my pocket. Ah, as you can see, kind of, con you know, not really conspicuous, but not really going to scare anyone. As you can tell, I need to get the, you know, blade, you know, worked in there. Because while sometimes I can get the flipper, you know, to open up one-handed, You know, it just needs a little work. And, you know, like Jeff said, and most people know this. Okay, I just screwed up there. Let's see if I can actually do that. You can just flick it wrist without using a flipper. Or use a thumb stud. But what I want to do, even though I know there's a lot cheaper than this knife, I want the foot to be like this, where you don't have to, you know, move your wrist. You can just plop. Now, I'm sure if I work it in there a little more and you know maybe oil it up it'll be all good because even my method only works about half the time which is where you apply force and then flick it off and so that doesn't work every time and I don't like that but you know I'm gonna see what I can do you know maybe just you know give it some time you know work it in and I might do a few little modifications on here because once again four dollar knife because since there are hot spots in the handle from the sides being a little bit sharpened, I might take some sandpaper, file it down, you know, just nice enough. I don't know, really nothing more. What do I plan on doing? And that's all I got for you guys. Like I said, I think it be a full on review. This is just, you know, my first impressions. So, you know, check your local Walmart. Maybe they have them, maybe they don't. Maybe they have the other three you know, four dollar knives. And maybe you know, check them out, because just because a knife is cheap doesn't mean it ain't useful. And I'll put that with this one. This is just a cheap little knife from Frost Cutlery. Boom, it opens up quickly. Has a very useful blade. Locks up tight. No blade pl well a little bit side to side blade play, but you know, whatever. Boom. So to all you knife snobs out there who get mad when people buy knives for under a hundred bucks to a god knows how expensive you guys go for, leave them alone, okay? People can buy whatever fucking knives they want. If someone wants to buy, you know, cheap little four dollar knives, if someone wants to buy a five hundred dollar knife or a thousand dollar knife, I don't know how expensive you idiots pay for. Let them do it, because it's their damn money. It's their damn life. So once again, knife snobs, fuck you. But to everyone who just likes knives, who wants to, you know, have a useful knife, who collects knives, who maybe you just want, you know, a pocket knife. You know, you don't want a lot of them, you don't want a collector's piece, you just need a knife to go in your pocket at, for when you go to work. Plop, slice, doom, you know, do whatever you need to, okay? Uh, this video got offhand, <laughs> well, off track. But once again, like I said, if you like, you know, knives, but you don't want to spend you know, a lot of money on them, I'd go check out your local Walmart. You just might find one of the $4 knives. And like I said, there's plenty of versions. There's a small black one, another black one, and a silver one about the same size. Might possibly be this, a lockback, a multi-tool, a little brown one I saw. Yeah, you never know. You might like them. Like I said, being cheap steel, you're going to have to sharpen them a few times, but... Hey, you know, you need to learn how to sharpen your damn knives, okay, if you're going to own them. That's all i got to say. I mean, any idiot knows that. But like I said, maybe if you, maybe you want a pocket knife, but you just don't want to spend, you know, like, you know, this kind of money on these big brand names. 
I'd go check them out. And if you find them in your local Walmart, leave them in the comments below. You know, leave your hometown and just say, hey, I live in so and so and I found one. You guys can do that for me, that'd be awesome. Because I just want to spread the word for, you know, the younger kids. Like I said, leave in the comments below, like, subscribe, or don't, I don't care. But I hope to see you guys next time, and this is Honest Dave signing out. Bye.